a warm welcome to all you all heard about rocket and their working principle in your previous sessions now we can study the combustion material or the fuel inside the rockets we are generally calling it as propellants now we will see the launching of a rocket what you have seen when the rocket is moving a high pressure and a high velocity flame coming out from the bottom so you know something is there inside the rocket right that only produces the high thrust flame the substance is called fuel of the rocket or simply propellants next we can study what is a rocket through this we will get more idea about propellants rocket is a vehicle like our car why we are using car for transportation of persons from one place to another place like that rockets are used to transport satellite from earth to space now you look into the picture there are three images in the first image gsat satellite is assembled in the rocket in the second image rocket is moving to the launch pad in the third image rocket is flying to the space for putting the satellite into orbit as i told you rocket is like a car but you know for moving a car we required fuel that is called petrol or diesel then you think whether only fuel is enough to move the car no we need to supply oxygen for combustion this oxygen is taken by the car from the atmosphere so a fuel and an oxidizer is essential for the combustion then what else needed an ignition source for igniting the air fuel mix in car spark plug is used for this purpose coming to the rocket there is one small difference here the rocket is carrying both fuel and oxidizer into it for burning why because the rocket is traveling at a distance of 400 to 500 km we know that after 100 km there is no atmosphere there are so the rocket must carry oxidizer along with it then what else needed like spark plug in car here we are using an igniter now you see in the picture what are you seeing a fuel tank an oxidizer tank and a combustion chamber for mixing the fuel and oxidizer the high pressure and high velocity flame developed due to the combustion is ejected through a pipe fitted in the bottom side of the rocket this pipe is called nozzle nozzle you can see in the picture a rocket is moving forward due to the high pressure and high velocity gas ejection what is the reason that is newton's third law of motion as per this law every action there is an equal and opposite reaction due to this reaction the rocket is moving forward in this process propellant burning and hot gas ejection is the action and due to this the rocket is moving forward that is the reaction now we will see the different type of propellants according to its nature it can be divided into three that is solid liquid and cryogenic propellants coming to the solid propellant here the fuel and the oxidizer used is in solid nature they are solid chemical powders for making a solid propellant these powders are to be mixed with the help of a liquid called binder the binder is a polymer with a long chain molecules now we say what are the ingredients of a solid propellant a fuel an oxidizer and a binder we can make a solid propellant by mixing these ingredients together when we mix these ingredients we get a paste like substance called propellant slurry the equipment used for the mixing is called propellant mixer or kneader this paste like substance will pour inside a rocket chamber this process is called casting this casted propellant will keep inside a oven and dry for 5 days and finally we will get a solid propellant in solid propellant aluminum powder is used as fuel ammonium perchlorate used as an oxidizer and htpp that is hydroxyl terminated polybutadiene is used as a binder you can see how a solid propellant is making first is ammonium perchlorate that is an oxidizer next is htpp resin that is a binder and aluminum powder that is a fuel and a mixing of these three ingredients together with a mixer and you will get a slurry that you can see in the video after that it will 
cast in oven for 5 days you will get a solid propellant next is liquid propellant what you can see in the picture a fuel tank an oxidizer tank and a combustion chamber for burning the fuel and oxidizer and a nozzle in liquid propellant fuel and oxidizer are stored in different tanks because when this fuel and oxidizer are coming in contact with it it will burn spontaneously these propellants are called hypergonic propellants that's why these propellants are stored in different tanks as an example in liquid propellant hydrazine is used as fuel which is an alkali and n2o4 is used as an oxidizer which is an acid now we can see the working of a liquid propellant now we can see the working of a liquid propellant here the fuel and the oxidizer are stored in a different tank from this tank with a two different pipeline this propellant will reach to the combustion chamber from there this propellant will burn and it will go out through the nozzle coming to the cryogenic propellant here liquefied gases are using as fuel and oxidizer see the picture this is also like a liquid propellant fuel and oxidizer are stored in different tank but the difference is that here on igniter is required to trigger the burning of propellant for making cryopropellant hydrogen and oxygen gases are cooled into liquid phase and from this liquefied hydrogen is stored in fuel tank and liquefied oxygen is stored in oxidizer tank next we can study the position of different propellant in different rockets isro is commonly using two types of rockets that is pslv and gslv for launching the satellite in polar orbits and geo orbits coming to the pslv rocket this rocket is having four stages first stage is solid propellant second stage is liquid propellant and third stage is again solid propellant and the fourth stage is liquid propellant next is gslv rockets these are large rockets compared to pslv and the first stage of this rocket is solid second stage is liquid and the third stage is cryogenic propellant i told you that gslv rockets are large rockets why because they need to travel more distance that's why the third stage of this rocket is using cryogenic propellants you know that the cryogenic propellants are in liquefied form why it is made like this did you ever notice that how the cooking gas is filled inside the cylinder in our home in gas cylinder the cooking gas is converted into liquid and stored inside what will happen if the gas is stored in gaseous form in two days the gas will be consumed that's why large amount of gas is stored inside the cylinder in liquid form so that we can store large quantity of gas in a small container when this liquid will come out from the cylinder it become gas the same method is using in cryogenic stage so we can use the cryogenic propellant for long time as a result rocket can move more distance next is specific embers or mileage of a rocket when you purchase a car or bike we will also think about its mileage in the same way the efficiency or the performance of the rocket is called specific next we can see the testing the of specific a embers of a solid, solid propellant is 240 to 240, 250 seconds liquid propellant is 330 to 350 seconds and cryogenic propellant is 420 to 440 seconds 2 1 fire keep us 5 seconds keep us 10 seconds Space. Click proper and let us see. Keep us 20. Mark. Plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34
in a rocket around 80 percentage is propellant that much importance is there in propellant in rocket thank you